I started playing music when I was probably maybe five. I was playing uh, triangle, little triangle, and uh, I was playing percussion. I was making my own, uh, making my own equipment. I was making uh, uh, drums out of boxes, cardboard boxes. It's a different size cardboard. You get a different bass sound. You can get a little bit more of a, uh, a little bit more of a timber sound, you know, a little bit more of a snare sound if you do different things. So the chain is on the bottom. And uh, if you take a look at pipe and drum bands, you see the, the flourishing tenor. Um, long time after that, and I didn't uh, didn't follow follow through with the commitment, but I I was uh, I was supposed to to work with the pipe and drum band. Flourishing tenor with them. Um, I don't think it would have been for me, but I wanted to learn a bit more about it. The tin whistle, uh, uh, this item right here, the tin whistle, uh, I play that a lot. Uh, you'll see a lot of my videos. I don't have any guitar music up there, even though I play a lot of guitar. Uh, I've done a lot of experimenting with guitar. I've probably done some things that people would steal the ideas from. One of the ideas that I use, uh, that I do uh, bottleneck, slide, laptop, stuff like uh, pedal steel, stuff like that. Uh, people who play that type of stuff, they'll, they'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, so, um, I did a little experimenting and stuff like that, but I took the, uh, the, uh, the high E, high, it's the uh, nine gauge, 10 gauge. Uh, I took that off and instead what I did was I put a, a heavier wing string on the bottom. Harmon I would play harmonics with that, so I was experimenting all over that. And I've experimented with the E bow, the electronic bow, the use on the on slide guitar. Uh, you can play slide with it, the, you can use an electronic bow. Uh, I've used that. I use, I've used the uh, regular violin bow. I've used that. And, but guitar, I love guitar. I started off with bass. Uh, made my own, my first guitar I made from a piece of uh, plywood that was no more than maybe this uh, this big. Uh, so it, it, it really worked like a guitar. And I made it out of just a rubber band that I fixed at the, at the bottom. And then mounted it up at the top and I would uh, tighten it up. And I used to actually the, the spring off a clothes peg stick clothes peg on the top and it would stretch for a band. So you use a thick rubber band. And then I, when I bought my first bass off a guy named uh, Monty Montgomery in uh, Eglinton. He worked at uh, the Glen House, Glen House, I think it was. He sold me his first guitar for 15 quid. And um, my amplifier was uh, an armoire, uh, one of his wooden armoires. And I would put, uh, take the uh, the guitar, and I would back the guitar up against the arm wall, and um, I was able to hear hear the acoustics from it. That was, that was my first. That was my first thing. And then um, when I got uh, to the U.S., that was when I bought my first six string. But I'd already been playing six strings. I'd been playing uh, steel acoustic. Spanish guitar. It was a uh, flamenco style, okay, and uh, but it, it had uh, steel strings on it. So some of it, they hadn't put nylon strings on it, which is how it should have been. And, uh, this was when I lived in Eglinton when I was young. So when I was seven or eight years old, I was playing six string and uh, got one of those electronic little electronic kits for. Christmas gift one year, I believe I was probably ten, nine or ten years old. So I built the electron, I built the radio set, and then what I did was uh, flipped it backwards, and I took a little earbud um, earphone. They used to have little single earbuds. What I did is took a piece of uh, Glazer's putty, and I stuck it on the guitar, and then uh, it fed back through the, the radio. Experiment with that. That was before I'd even seen Jimmy Page 
and the song remains the same. We heard the song remains the same. The first time we heard it was on the back of one of our high school buses, and some of them was a portable, brand new, eight track set players. So that, that he brought, he brought a copy of it, and that was it. We used to listen to John Peel. We listened to Old Grey Whistle Test, and uh, that was most of what we would listen to. Uh, cut. I finished. I gotta finish rolling one, guys. Yeah, give me, give me five minutes, will you? Yeah, I know we're on the time schedule, but look, come on, give me, give me a break, will you? Okay.